Hi everybody, Rhino Ken here. And it's just about Thanksgiving, and well, the official hand turkey has been drawn, so Thanksgiving is upon us, that's for sure. But I wanted to take a moment and share a few uh, wine tips to help make your Thanksgiving even more special and magical this, uh, this Thanksgiving. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the opening act, the pregame, you know, what happens just beforehand. As soon as people start arriving, hand them a glass of wine. So Aunt Sally, Uncle Joe, here's a glass of Chardonnay or a Riesling or a Tarantes, you know, something white would be uh, very appropriate as people come in um, to gear up for the main event of the, uh, you know, the Thanksgiving feast, if you will. So give them a nice glass of white wine to enjoy while they're, you know, watching a little football on TV and nibbling and snacking and picking and all the stuff that's, that's floating around out there, as everybody does, you know. Um, so that'd be a great way to start the party, that's for sure. Then, when we start to think about the main course, that main turkey that's there, think red, okay? Primarily think Pinot Noir, Zinfandel. Zinfandel would be great. Something like that to use uh, for your Thanksgiving uh, meal for the main event. But think about it this way. You have this great presentation set up. You know, your table with all the plates and the, everything's all set up awesome. What is going to rock that table even more? Not just a bottle of wine sitting there, but take that bottle of wine, pour it into a decanter, and have a nice wine decanter full of a nice red sitting there. Man, it's just going to rock it out. It will be awesome, I guarantee you. Plus, by decanting the wine ahead of time, maybe an hour or two, it is gonna, the air is going to mix with those tannins of that red wine, break it up a little bit, mix and party, and uh, it will really bring out the bouquet in the wine and really help you know, pop some of those flavors for Thanksgiving and make it just, just right, knock it out of the park this year. Okay? On a side note, talking about um, the bird itself, you know, a lot of people carve their turkeys way too soon, like when, too soon after they take it out of the oven. So if I can make one recommendation, is just let it rest a little bit longer. Let that turkey sort of sit in its own juices and, and, uh, and you know, just enjoy itself for just a little bit longer. You'll get a nice tender bird, nice and juicy, and that's what you want because nobody likes dry, dry turkey. Nobody. No. Now, you want a nice, juicy, tender bird. That's what you want, all right? So those are a couple suggestions for you. And by all means, if you really want to get specific about which wines to grab, you might want to go check out Gary V over at Lime, Wine Library TV, and he will hook you up with some really great specific wines. But for the most part, a nice Zinfandel will do just fine as well. All right? So from me and the, the hand turkey, if you're traveling this holiday season, please travel safe. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Cheers.